Many of you have sent me this post suggesting that the blue zones are a myth and that meat intake is associated with longevity. Well, the blue zones are real, but I would agree that we can't definitively say what factors are responsible for their longevity. But let's address the meat study. This was a cross-sectional study, meaning it was a snapshot in time, and it looked at meat intake and life expectancy across 175 populations. They did find a positive correlation between meat intake and life expectancy, or at least that's what they say. They didn't actually measure meat intake. They used meat supply data for each region and didn't even consider how much was wasted, so it could be a poor marker of actual intake. And while they did try to consider some potentially confounding variables like obesity rates, GDP, and so on, there could be numerous other sometimes drastic differences between and within these populations like access to healthcare, for example, that wouldn't be accounted for. Further, income is a major predictor of longevity and just using GDP across countries is far from adequate to account for income amongst individuals. And it's also notable that this study did not find obesity to be a significant predictor of life expectancy, so would the people citing this paper also accept that finding? And on top of that, if we were to do a similar cross-country comparison of per capita cigarette consumption and life expectancy, it would look like smoking increases life expectancy too. But obviously that's ridiculous. It's likely that countries with higher cigarette consumption just house people who can afford to smoke more, and it could be a similar story with meat. But when we look at meat intake within populations, follow them over time and adjust for known confounding variables, we find that higher meat intake is associated with a higher risk of mortality. 